seven without steam is actually five. For smart minds only. Oh, what a tiny little pea brain you have to be gatekeeping numbers. Hello everybody, welcome to Calvis. My name is Lumo and today we're gonna be looking at r slash gatekeeping. A subreddit dedicated to all of these idiots who want to keep you out of their favorite hobbies. Let's get right into it. Choosing laptop, girls, color, size, camera, versus boys, RAM, graphic card, processor, cache, display size, backlit keyboard, HDMI port, battery, no of RAM slots. Mm, I highly doubt this is true. So when I was in college, I dated a girl who worked at our like IT, our IT desk. Um, you'd be shocked how many dudes got a MacBook because it just said MacBook. This is gatekeeping to the highest order. This is some gamer with his goddamn, like, basketball shorts hiked up to him fat little titties. Talking about how him laptop's so good, it play crisis on processor only. Like, no, not everyone's like that. Get your head out of your ass and maybe you can see a woman's ass. When I say gamer, I mean this. Rainbow Six Siege, The Dotus, Forza, Apex Legend, Ned for Sped. <laughs> Man in circle with a gun. <laughs> Not this. Fade the Grand Order. Honkai Third Impact. Arc Knight. Azul Lane. Now, I hate. I hate this. If you're a mobile gamer, you're still a gamer. As a game developer, I, I give you the gamer card. The highest prestige that anyone can give you. Uh, real talk though, like Honkai, not a terrible game. I, I have fun with it. Like, it's, it's a good way to kill the time. And like, so is Left 4 Dead. Like,. <laughs> Am I disqualified from either category from playing, well, you know, from playing a game from both? Like, I don't know, this just seems stupid. I mean, I guess it's gatekeeping, so of course it will be stupid. Kids these days will never knew the torture we went through as kids trying to get these things off, especially out y'all shoe strings. Burdock still exists. I have some, like, right outside, and I hate when it gets stuck on me. What kind of... What kind of troglodyte thinking is this? I remember when I was a kid and we had nature. Kids that they don't have nature, they only know hot chip, twerk, change their phone, and lie. Like, get, get out. Get out of here with that. Language nerds and polygrots. Everyone stuck in quarantine suddenly getting the urge to learn a language. Eat my in higher ass dude like eat my booty this is a really stupid take like i'm trying to learn glorious nihon because local man wants to be able to translate his own games and the japanese market it's a good market to get into but like i hate when people try and gatekeep trying to better yourself it's so stupid like that's why people get anxiety about going to the gym no oh, i'm just gonna make fun of me because i'm fat no they're not they're gonna help you because they they're seeing you try and they want to help you be better like if you see someone trying to learn a language that you know you can try and have conversations with them in that language it'll help reinforce the lessons you don't do this multilingual marissa suck it eat my booty i've realized after cackling at all of these i have a distinct sense of humor 33 jokes about classic literature only bookworms will find funny <laughs> top five things people who produce anything worthwhile to society will get Number five will shock you, and number five is people who work for BuzzFeed won't get it. Why do people give BuzzFeed the time of day? It's not even good. It's not even good content. It's trash content made for idiots. <laughs> Am I gatekeeping a little bit here? I might be, but I'd rather you get out of BuzzFeed's gate because it, oh, BuzzFeed is like a detriment, I swear to God. Kids nowadays are learning to hook up with one of these things instead of by their dad screaming at them while throwing around hand signals like he's trying to land a Boeing 747. No wonder we have to give out participation ribbons. My dad does this, he's in his 70s. Are you trying to tell me that my dad never had to back up with his parents doing the exact same thing? Or to my brother and I doing the exact same thing to help him get the camper going? No, technology advances. Stop being such a goddamn waste of space. I'm beginning to think that we can actually waste the universe's resources and entropy will not reclaim the time that was lost to these idiots. Fun time activity, gatekeeping about gatekeeping. <laughs> you kids are telling people they're not true gamers. I've been telling people they're not true gamers for 20 years. God, no, I hate the people who do this. 
unironically, I hate the people who do this. And I used to do this. Like, it's, uh, it's such an immature and childish take. I hate it. And I hate it because it makes me reflect on myself poorly. I like TikTok. Get the frick off Reddit then. And I can't like both. <laughs> oh, also, no. And they got downvoted. They got downvoted. But then again, I guess what am I expecting? Reddit's kind of a frickin' hive mind. If you don't agree with the group think, you are removed. What's that? You used an emoji? Ha 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 ha. Get off. Like, I hate It's so stupid. <laughs> Come statue. <laughs> Why is that the top comment? You are not a Slytherin. You are 32. The character Harry Potter is 36. People who are 32 were in the exact same age range to match Harry as the books were being published. They probably grew up with it, and it was probably important to them if they're still talking about their Hogwarts house. Being an adult doesn't have to be a joyless slog of work and taxes. You're allowed to continue enjoying your childhood interests, and playing make-believe as an adult is a perfectly reasonable pastime. Yeah, just look at LARPers. Like, when l liking Harry Potter only becomes an issue where you use it to fuel political discourse <laughs> but like just enjoying the media and like still you know relating to it somewhat is perfectly fine hell I still relate to old Sonic games sometimes like it's just it's the things that left impressions on us as a kid they make us who we are I don't want my man to wear glasses I feel like that's a little gay fellas is it gay to see <laughs> yes Having your phone fully charged is a female trait. I mean, didn't you hear? Any woman born after 1993 doesn't know how to cook. All they know is how to charge their phone, eat hot chip, <laughs> twerk, and lie. <laughs> Why? This is such a weird thing to gatekeep. My phone is fully charged right now. Does that mean that I got massive honking titties, my dude? <laughs> what are you trying to get across here? What is the point of this? When I say FPS fan, I mean this. Doom, Wolfenstein, Duke Nukem, Heretic, Shadow Warrior. Those are the only ones that I know because they're the only ones that are popular. Not this. Team Fortress 2, New Doom. Ah, okay, no. This take is objectively wrong. Straight up, this take is objectively wrong. Black Ops is okay. D2 is okay. TF2, literally genre defining. Overwatch, genre innovating. Doom is the logical progression of the original Doom. This is not just gatekeeping. This is nostalgia-fueled gatekeeping, because I'm going to be completely real with you guys. A lot of those games on the left, like, barring a couple, are just subpar Doom clones. That's right, I said it. Hexen and Heretic. I had fun with them. They are just straight Doom clones with a fantasy setting. Duke Nukem 3D. Doom, but horny and with aliens. Let's keep this going, Wolfenstein 3D. The original FPS, Doom is just a clone of that with demons and Mars base. But you can vary all of these much more on the right. So you know what? Part my cheeks, eat my ass. Your dad doesn't ride a motorcycle? Well, happy Mother's Day to your dad. Look, motorcycles are cool, but if all you can talk about is revving your hog, then, you know, maybe you might need more personality traits. Maybe you might need to do something else besides just riding your motorcycle. Your bike is cool, I will admit. However, you seem to be a sad, pathetic little man, baby. There will never be a better costume. This is one year away from actually being the perfect costume. Raw. Only people who did art history will understand this comment. Mm. No, th that's literally taught in like high school. You troglodytes! Oh my god, this subreddit just angers me. These people are all so pretentious and up their own ass. I wonder if they can even have a conversation without, like, actively shitting on the other participants. Like, am I wrong to be upset at this stuff? Like, oh god, it's so stupid. Friendly reminder to all the stepmothers, foster mothers, and adopted mothers out there. You are not mothers. Don't even think that you are anything like mothers. You're nothing like mothers. You are pathetic imposters, criminal child abductors, human traffickers. You have no legal rights. Get out now before I track you down. Someone needs to get their ass beat. How could you, in any realistic situation, think of the women who take care of these abandoned children who I, might not have their mother or might be the product of a broken family. How can you shit on them for trying to provide a good upbringing for these children? Being a mother doesn't mean that you push some crotch goblin out of your disgusting frickin' vagina. It means that you have a child and you're doing your best to do right by them. You're not a mother, you're a subhuman troglodyte. Thank you. Have a lovely day.
If your dad wears this helmet, happy Mother's Day to your dad. Are, are we gatekeeping firefighters? Are we, are, is this where we're at as a society? Society? Is this where we're at in the society in which we live? This is so, why? I'm sorry, person who made this meme. Are you going to run into the burning building to save your children? I, I freaking doubt it. Ah, oh, why? Like, it's good that we have new technology. Why? A deserving band finally gets the attention they deserved. Random elitist fan. This band is so good I want to keep them as a secret. I hope they don't become mainstream. The hit song is the only song you know. I listened to them first. You guys are poses. Real talk. When I was uh, in high school, I found uh, Avenged Sevenfold's City of Evil. And I found Atreyu's Lead Sails and Paper Anchors. And I really liked these two specific albums, but they were the only albums I really liked by the bands at the time, because I'm not really the biggest fan of Screamo, and before City of Evil, you know, A7X was a lot of Screamo. I actually had a girl, like, actively dumping on me for, like, an hour bus ride because I mentioned that I only really liked City of Evil. Tried their other stuff, just wasn't my style. She lost her goddamn mind. <laughs> I don't understand these people or why they be the way they do. To all the dads that drive automatics, happy Mother's Day. I'm sorry if I don't like fondling a stick. Tell me more about how you're more masculine than I am. Just wrap your hands right around that tip. Just give it a good rub. Get that knuckle in there. I'm just saying, I don't, I don't like rubbing a drive shaft. It is uh, not super convenient for me. Uh, you, on the other hand, by all means, grab as many rods as you want. Is gatekeeping just because people want to feel superior over these arbitrary things that they think make them unique? Is this them trying to claim some form of individuality in a world where individuality is both everywhere, thus making it nowhere? Is, th is that what's happening? Like, on a, on a mental level, on a subconscious level, is that what's happening? I tr I'm trying to rationalize this because I don't understand. So can your palm computer can play GTA 5? If it isn't it not a computer, it is a damn phone, and for reason, it's called phone. Oh, I feel like I just had a stroke trying to read that. That took like four attempts. If you can't does then is the speak to English, then gatekeeping is not the maybe something that you should be doing or trying. And yeah, I'm gatekeeping, gatekeeping. I'm hoping maybe it'll keep some of these idiots out. Your dad doesn't smoke cigars? Well, happy Mother's Day to your dad. You know, I can actually say happy Father's Day to my dad a lot longer than you can if you think that they need to smoke a cigar to be a man. Have fun with your lung cancer, Tommy. I hope you enjoy it. So that's all the time we have here today on Calbus. If you like this, and only if you like this, you have to hit subscribe. Only true likers will hit subscribe. <laughs> If you did enjoy this though, please hit subscribe, maybe even hit like, maybe even hit that bell. All the support you guys have been showing us has been really just wonderful and humbling, and it lets us know what you like, and it lets us know that we need to keep making content for you every single day. As always, my name has been Lumo, thank you so much for watching. Another gatekeeping will pop up on your screen in a couple of seconds, and I hope to see you in the very next Calpus video. Have a lovely day.